voltages not having any phase shift, they cannot produce a current. But if I have two equal voltages with a phase shift, 120 degree phase shift, fundamental VA1 and VB1 are circulating current in the loop, but VA3 and VB3 cannot circulate a current. Because if you want to circulate current in AC circuit, either magnitude should differ or phase angle should differ. In the case of fundamental magnitudes are same but phase angles are different. But in the case of third harmony, angles are zero, both the angles are uh, zero, both the magnitudes are same, they cannot circulate a current. In delta, the third harmonic voltages will circulate a current but they are restricted uh, within the delta, they do not come outside. Something like your family affairs. They say always your family internal problems should be there within your house, they should not come out of the house. That is the most successful system. So delta is similar to your household system. So in the case of delta, the harmonics will be circulating within delta. They will not come out. So in general, whether it is star connected or delta connected, third harmonic is harmless. So we don't bother about third harmonic. Generally, we bother about fifth harmonic. Beyond fifth, we will neglect. Seventh, eleventh, thirteenth, nineteenth. Because V eleven is V one by eleven. V thirteen is V one by thirteen. V17 is V1 by 17. So in the denominator, that number is going up. So the magnitude of higher order harmonics is less. We don't know. So in my class, third bench, one person is sleeping. I don't bother. My class is very nice. But the fifth bench, fifth bench person is looking at me and shouting at me. So I have to eliminate him. So that my class will go smoothly. 11th bench person, 13th bench person talking, but it is not audible to me. So I don't bother about a person in the 11th bench or 13th. So that is something about harmonics. So this part is your uh, DVR and this is your active filter. This C and L are the elements required for the active filter and this is your DVR. So combination of DVR and active filter is called UPPC, Unified or Quality Additional. So DVR will inject the voltage and improve the receiving end voltage, this will supply the harmonic so that the generator from this is sending end is relieved from the harmonics. And generally these capacitors are fed from solar source. So there are a lot of papers, somebody has published a paper just taking a solar source, one boost converter and then feeding it to this. Another paper from solar source, DC to DC converter feeding this capacitor. Then some interleaved boost converter with less ripple from DC to that uh, converter and then to the capacitor. So you need some source to charge uh, this. So advantage of UPQC, you see, if you take DVR for DVR separately, you need a capacitor and a source. If you take active filter, active filter needs a capacitor and a source. But in UPQC, you see, what they say, you combine both, use single source. If you have a single DC source, that single DC source will be uh, acting as a source for the DVR and also as a source for the harmonics. Harmonics are associated with some energy, that energy has to be supplied. You don't want generator to supply that energy, somebody should supply. That somebody may be a solar source or uh, maybe a wind generator with rectifier like that. So that will supply <coughs> this and that will be charging this capacity. So this is three phase version of the UPQC. This part is three phase DVR, this is three phase active filter. Then uh, this is the three phase part of it. So, recently there is a paper on DPSC, distributed power flow controller. DVRs and active filter, one active filter to supply the harmonics. So if the line is long, one DVR is not enough. Long transmission line means 400 kilometers. So for a length of 400 kilometers, one DVR is not enough. You may have to go for multiple DVRs. So if you have multiple DVRs to compensate the voltage drop on the active filter, such a controller is called distributed power flow of DPFC. That is the latest paper in 2012 has come. So all these things come under uh, uh, that uh, 
UPQC, then uh, DPSC, they come under third generation fax control. Second generation fax controllers, you have DVR, STATCOM, etc. So, uh, fax uh, equipment, fax equipment, uh, we are mostly importing. First level fax generator, uh, fax controllers we are manufacturing. So, ADD is uh, selling uh, fax controllers. All the electricity boards want fax controllers, but uh, we have uh, problem with the funding. So, problem with the funding, if uh, enough money is there, we can buy fax controllers and uh, install as many fax controllers as possible, so that the power quality will be if I put more and more DCSCs, my real power capability will be improved. If I put more and more shunt capacitor banks, my voltage instability problem will be solved. So, we want as many fax controllers as possible. I think in the last semester lecture, I told you um, the example for uh, uh, money flow. Power flow is similar to money flow. So, in, uh, uh, in Gulf, uh, uh, the rule says you can only, expatriates can only send 50% of their money. Other 50% they have to spend there. So, like that in a generator, uh, so the, in, in that example, if your father is in Gulf, you are in India, he has money, you want money, but he cannot push 100% money, he can only push 50% of that. Similarly, God and uh, you, between God and you, Achari, Ayer is there. So, between God and you in the temple, the Ayer is there, but the Ayer is not praying for you, he is praying for himself. God is willing to give, you are willing to receive, but uh, the person is not, uh, sub, uh, not uh, supporting. So, like that in a power system, at the sending end power is there, at the receiving end demand is there. If we introduce more and more fax controllers, the power can be pushed from sending end to <coughs> so, um, Gujarat they went for the higher uh, number of fax controllers. Uh, I hope in future, uh, I, I told you in Singapore uh, they have shunt capacitors in Tamil Nadu. So, we hope that we should get more fax controllers so that the power quality will be improved. So, Nigrani is very easy, I think uh, that was much earlier. Later, you had Mathur, Mathur concepts are simple. Miller is very popular. Miller is a very good order. Originally, React for control by Miller is there. Now, power electronic control in power systems. Power electronic control in power systems by Miller is very simple and Padia is tough. So, this is my opinion about the books.